I literally was probably one of the few people who could move between the two areas and nobody made a big deal about it because yeah. it was like, these are my people, yeah. that's my family, that's my girl. Yeah. So it, it is what it is. Yeah. And it is what it is. Yeah. So what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Where I Come From. It is I, Mr. Tone Death. This Easter weekend, I am in the building. I am tired, people. <laughs> my life has been really busy because, as y'all know, if you've been rocking with us. This is the anniversary uh, month of TDR as we hit 11 years of doing this. I want to thank everybody who's been rocking with us, everybody from the hosts to the guests to the people who tune in, the whole nine yards. So as we continue down this road, we are only going to get better at this. And I got a lot of new stuff coming out for y'all. Some of the things that I plant before COVID, I'm actually now putting in position. So be on the lookout. 2022 and beyond is going to be a major year for us. But like always on where I come from, I am joined by a guest. As you can kind of hear from the start of the conversation, she is definitely from Milwaukee. Because um, y'all know here on where I come from, the only requirement to be a guest on this show is to be from our city and to be doing something. But she is very unique because she is in a lane, pun intended, that a lot of people are not into. And we're just now starting to get there. And it is semi-truck driver. Now, she's not a semi-truck driver herself anymore that I know of. But she plays a very important role in here in the city of Milwaukee with the African-American community going more and more independent every day. She actually has something that may not be a bad idea for us. Um, COVID basically proved that we don't have to be outside to get money. And she actually has a career path that uh, can help you do that from the comfort of your own homes and still be that boss-ass person you are. So why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself for my Talking to the mic. You got to talk to the mic? <laughs> this, ain't, this ain't a regular conversation on the couch. You got to talk to the mic. Definitely. So hello, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Lakeisha, and I am the owner of Randy Lane Corporation. <laughs> my truck drivers we work with a lot of owner operators who own their own trucks and um pretty much we dispatch them um we have uh at least about say about 15 trucking companies that Ooh. we dispatch out um we also provide dispatching training courses for people who are interested in wanting to learn how to dispatch semi trucks or any other, other than semi trucks, there's box trucks, there's right. um, um, reefers, dry vans. That's what um, a lot of my course um, pretty much covers about these different types of um, equipments or trucks that you can be able to move and be able to learn about the different kinds of trucks that you are moving. Um, we also provide um, setups for trucking companies if you are interested in learning how to start up your own mm. trucking company. We also teach that is well actually we don't teach it i'm sorry let me take that back we don't teach you how to start up your own trucking company we pretty much do it for you oh so if you want to start your own trucking company and you don't know how to go about it don't know how to get started we are the people you come to so basically all we gotta do is buy our truck and you'll do the rest that's it oh snap that's it. there's a lot of trucks on sales out there people who must <laughs> she definitely sound like so Let's start from the beginning. What made you go down this avenue? Though? This is not a typical average job. I'm not even going to say a black job, a typical job, period. So how, what made you not only decide to go this route, but what made you go so in depth? Because it's not like you get way more than what some of these major companies offer to their employees. Well, um, COVID is definitely one of the reasons COVID, why COVID is real. <laughs> Another reason is I always wanted to become an entrepreneur, and I did have family members also that are in um, trucking as well, and that pushed me and inspired me more. I always wanted to be in trucking, but I never knew how to go about it. Okay. So um, when I um, I was um, one day on um, I believe it was Instagram, and I ended up seeing um, one of a young lady who also 
started, um, she had a dispatching company. Okay. And she had a few fleets, and she was teaching um, us, teaching people how to start their own dispatching business. And I was pretty interested. And also, there was another young African-American lady who also would teach people how to start their own trucking business. So I pretty much dealt with a lot of people who were African-American, who I put out my African-American dollars to. Okay to be able to learn these skills and I learned from them and and then from then I end up doing um, the dispatching and learning everything I need to know about it and taking off from there. That's what's up. Randy Lane's Corporation. Where does this name come from? Because that is not your name. No, it's not. You, are, you do not look like a Randy. You don't no. even look like a Raquel. And you know what's <laughs> funny? If people be calling me Randy, like, hi, like, oh, somebody that is the name is Randy. Somebody got to be Randy here. Well, the name was inspired by my father. He's deceased. Um, okay. His first name is Randy. Lane is his middle name. And then I thought about, like, oh, that's about right. Lane. Hmm. I'm trying to keep my business name as Lane. So, was he a truck driver too? Yeah. So he was the all around inspiration Absolutely. to all of this. Absolutely. Did you ever go on any trips with her? No. no, no. Have you been? Have you driven trucks yourself yet? Uh-uh, not yet. Have you been in them? Yes. What's your favorite trip so far? Have you taken in the semi? In, oh, have I been in the semi? Yeah. No, no, never. Yep. Have been over the phone? Oh, no. Okay, no. I'm just asking. No, no. Like, have you been? I think you know some people. They they teach from experience. No. You no. Know. <laughs> no. I just go several. I mean, several truck drivers. Okay. And I know so many, they share so much experience with me that put me in the their better situations. Yeah. And that's, that's definitely, if you don't experience yourself, at least having someone who can tell you this is what it is like, yeah. definitely can help out. Because I think like me and you had this conversation uh, one day, whereas in truck driving or being a truck driver at one point in time was a very dangerous business. Yeah. Like, I remember, like I think we talked about this. Was almost every morning you will wake up, you'll hear the morning news, you'll hear about a truck had an accident, yep. you know, yep. some truck flipped over over here, this person went off the road here. Then you got these learning channels and stuff like that that have these ice road trucker shows, and it's like, bro, there was no other direction you could took. You had to go through the mountain. Well, you know what, and this is where this. And that's, that's where I'm because, going. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it is very i'll say we are important because you think what is the role that a dispatcher really plays for a truck driver for those who don't know nothing about this definitely we play finding their finding their routes we plan out their day um we pretty much um look ahead of schedule for them like as far as like if the weather's bad like you were mentioning about you know, the mountains and the weather. You might get some truck drivers who might be brand new and don't know about mountains and don't know about um, looking ahead of, as far as the weather. They might just got off the road a couple hours ago and they're tired and don't have time to be looking for their next route. Well, exactly. this is where the dispatchers play a part. In. They are the ones that's looking ahead and finding their routes and negotiating prices with um, customers to try to get them um, negotiate better um, rate for them to be able to pick up things and to deliver it. So um, we play that huge part in planning out their day, looking ahead, um, negotiating their rates, doing uh, complete paperwork, any clerical work um, that needs to be completed. We take care of that as well on behalf of the um, so, so to sum it up in a nutshell, you're a truck driver's work wife. Absolutely. That's what's up. That's Absolutely. what's up. That's that's you know what put that on your business card. <laughs> we're your truck we're your truckers work wife, minus all the extra benefits. You know, we'll make sure your sandwiches are packed and you know you're getting off to work on time the whole nine yards. We make but sure they are fine. We you take do, care of them. The rest of the truck stop on your own. I don't that's not what we do here. So on an average day for a dispatcher, like usually like what does your day look like? Like how how early can it start and how early can it end? Well, you think about yourself when you're only in a business. Or, or if you're working for a business, let's just say that. Most businesses start, what, at 6 o'clock in the morning. That's what time you want to be able to start your business. These truck drivers are looking to be up and out of here in the morning. This is this is their bread and butter. This is how they feed their family. So you definitely 
typical from a, a, a real dispatcher there up at 6 a.m. Maybe they might be up at 5. No, okay. And then their drivers route ahead of time, so they won't run into any issues. Do you have any dispatchers that do like the third shift? No, we're pretty much like, it, it all depends on your dispatching company. Okay. With our dispatching company, we're 24-7. So there's it's not like a, a third shift. If the driver gets into an accident after hours, we are available to take care of any needs that needs to be taken care of. Um, so I won't say it's a third shift. It's If something happens, we're available. Okay. So do, do certain dispatchers get tied to a certain driver? So like if I'm a driver and I decide that I want to use you as my company to get me started, is the person you assigned to me, is Lolo going to be my dispatcher as long as I'm with y'all? Or could I call it a different time when I might get Raquel or I might get James or I might get Terry? Like, does it change or do I have that personal one-on-one connection with my dispatcher? Well, if you are dispatching company, usually you will have that one-on-one connection with your dispatcher. Now, if okay. you have a company and you end up hiring other dispatchers, then of course, yeah, you would be able to put this dispatcher with Mr. with ABC Trucking Company. Okay. But ABC Trucking Company is going to know your staff anyway because you're going to introduce ABC Trucking, Co- ABC Trucking Company to your staff. Okay. So they will know who everybody is. Okay, that's what... I love that person. I mean, I need to know what time Rachel is clocking in <laughs> so I can make sure... Bobby is connected and we is good because when I send him to Seattle, I need to make sure. So you said that you basically, if I go out and I buy a semi truck today, you're going to help me get my business started. What does that look like? What does that look like? What does that look like? (laughs) You know, you get, get, give me what you can that don't take away from what you charging me. Uh, well, you're going to, you're going to get. I, I can't break my package down to you, and I can't give you a price that's competitive out there. Okay. But I, I, I guarantee you, once you come to me, you'll be on the road within, what, uh, maybe less than a month or something. Mm, okay. Everything should be um, So before I have, before I got to make my first loan payment, yeah. I got a full-blown company. See, because you will have, first, first you will have, you will have someone completing your trucking company for you. They will they will get your trucking company started. And then on okay. top of that, now you got a dispatcher. So you got somebody who got your trucking company started. And then also they got available load for me. So I get work too? Yeah, you get work too. I think I'm in the wrong <laughs> damn company because apparently I got work. I got somebody right here who could just be like, look, if you buy a truck fam, we do the rest. Yep. You just Definitely. where do I sign up at? <laughs> I'm not even talking for just me. Like for those who are listening, how do we how do we sign for up? For those who are listening, um, I prefer you to email us at rlanescorp at gmail dot com, or you can get in touch with us at four one four seven three one three two nine nine. We also have a website that you can go to. It on, is www com. Um, there you can go on there and purchase the dispatching training course. Um, the dispatch and training course right now is at three ninety nine, okay. and um, once you take the course, this should be an email and say, "Hey, I'm in," so I can get to know who you are, and then you can be able to contact me if you have any questions. We do have mentorship. Um, the mentorship is um, um, every other Friday. If you guys have questions, um, we are doing we do a Zoom meeting, so it, it may be more than one student in the class with you to be able to share questions and, and get anything answered that you need help with. I don't think I'm gonna go buy a semi truck for real, man. <laughs> like I get taught how to do this business. I get a dispatcher to help me work. I get my first few assignments already. Right away. <laughs> right away. It, 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 it's definitely if you Google the freight dispatching. And if a lot of y'all are kind of skeptical as to, oh, there's a lot of scams down here. I'm not sure if this is going to really work. Honestly, it 
you got to decide if this is going to be for you. This is entrepreneurship. This is not you getting a job. So if you start a dispatching business, you will have to put in the work. Just like if you're selling the hot dog. You know, you, you have to put in the work. Let everybody know that you're selling that hot dog for this price. Who are, here, is, selling, you know, who are here selling hot dogs? I'm, just, you know, I'm thinking about the summer. I'm hungry. <laughs> the only thing that people selling everything else in the summer. They sell everything. They're selling other stuff in the summer, not hot dog. But now I'm just messing with you. Know. Um, this sounds like a fantastic opportunity. I think I really would. I think I am going to look into it a little bit more, not only just um, for myself, but just as a way to, you know, be able to better explain to people. Because I know there's the one thing I know about that I know from my friends with her, because my buddy, my, my boy Tori, he just recently um, bought his own truck for his 40th birthday. I think I think he actually follows you. Uh, I think y'all are y'all may already be connected in one shape or form. If not, I'm definitely going to send him your information. Um, and like he's literally now his own person because he said for his 40th birthday he no longer wants to work for anybody and this sounds like an awesome opportunity for a lot of people to be able just basically to be your own your own boss you set your own hours in, in so many words with the deliveries a lot of people like to get out the city for a while just get away from you know being in milwaukee as a whole and this is a good way to see the country experience different things work for yourself and just feel like you you making a difference um my father-in-law was i don't know if i think he still is was a truck driver would always come home with so many crazy stories <laughs> about just being a truck driver uh my my actual stepdad uh, was a truck driver for a while himself as well too so i definitely know that it's a lucrative business and the way you're making it sound is this is probably like a foolproof way of going about doing this because you literally are taking 97 percent of the difficulties that people face starting any business and we're just saying hey give us this here's the rest of it literally that's all you gotta do is wake up talk to your dispatcher pick up your load and go on out here and mosey on down the road it's an 800 billion dollar industry so do not be afraid of competition Eight, 800 billion it, and honestly it don't even feel like it's competition because everybody needs something shipped mm -hmm. left and right because we have private contractors who delivered mail when i worked for the post office mm -hmm. they had specific routes to cities that were outside the metropolitan areas and they would pull in at, that's why i was asking about the third shift situation because they would pull into the post office connect their trucks load up their mail and off to indiana or minnesota and they were not united states postal workers they were independent On contractors Absolutely. yeah Absolutely. so even if you get an assignment where it's for the government in this case it's awesome who you think that's moving those drivers when you see them going from here to there it got to be somebody it has got to be a student yep. somebody got to do that that's a that's a dope ass job. Take, take away literally 90 percent of the burden off the carrier we call carriers our owner operators you take right. away the burden from them because they need to sleep and if especially if um a trucking company is trying to start their own um or, um create a, a, a bigger fleet okay. just only just not only having one truck they want more than one truck a dispatcher is definitely the way to go because they can't keep up with all those trucks. Hey, man, I need, I need, I technically need a dispatcher for this. Yeah. So I completely understand that. So, what is your goal in five years with this? Matter of fact, let's start from the beginning. How long have you been doing this? Well, I've been doing this, honestly, for about two and a half years. Okay. So, what's your end goal? My end goal is to create a hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of entrepreneurs you getting there though yep that's my goal to create because we all been there we work for people and a lot of us are parents a lot of us can't get jobs because we may be selling you know what i'm saying anything and this is like literally the way to go to become financially free to have financially um freedom um let me give you a little example if you are moving one truck 
and I always advertise if you move in one truck or maybe two trucks, you can gross two thousand dollars a week. Top. A week, people. A week. Not a month. It is so not serious. two weeks. <laughs> A week. It is so that's eight G, That's eight G's a month. Yes. So whatever she charges you monthly, don't matter because you get eight G's a month. Yes. Quit playing. It, it is. It is so serious. It is so worth it. I was just like everybody else, where I was like, "Oh, this is a scam." I, I what about it? What What about it makes people fear it's a scam, though? What What about it? Yeah. Because it doesn't. It to me, I don't see how it's a scam. If you've already bought into the CDL mm-hmm. and you've gotten to the point where you've decided to buy a truck, I can't see anything about this making it be a scam. But but think about it. CDL is so known. Everybody getting a CDL. But true. nobody really heard too much about the dispatching part of it. So true. they're like, I don't know what that is. And how is that affiliated with trucking? How is that affiliated with CDL? A lot. <laughs> and I, and I, I guess that's why I'm confused because being an entrepreneur myself, I, I have two businesses I've been doing, and the need for somebody to delegate, because at the end of the day, like I said earlier, it's your work mob. So any job that you've ever had, or not to work mom, your work, work back. <laughs> at any job that you have where you work around with a group of people, you always have that one person who makes sure you stay on point, which in so many words, you guys just gave it a title and call it a dispatcher. People who've ever worked in the police department know that you have dispatchers. People who work in the fire department, you have dispatchers. In emergency care, you have dispatchers. Hell, you have dispatchers in hospitals. Yep. So why would something that requires people to be all over the place not have someone who tells you where to go? Hell, superheroes have dispatchers. <laughs> Let's keep it a buck. Somebody got to tell them where the crime is. <laughs> That's basically, it's, it's very important. Somebody has to tell you where the hell to go. So I don't see how people can feel that a dispatcher is a scam. Matter of fact, it was probably one of the original work at home jobs. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> maybe they, 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 maybe they scare of something new. I, mean, I can see that. I, 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 I don't know. I just know that it's real. Right. It I sounds, tried it. It sounds like, it sounds like a necessity. I, I'm going to sit down one day and I'm going to talk to a truck driver who tried to do this without a dispatcher. Oh, man. Talk to a truck driver who has multiple trucks. You could talk to a driver that, because um, honestly, if you get a truck driver who has one truck, he can pretty much manage his movement. He can. He can, sometimes. But you might get one that said, hey, I ain't got time to be doing no paperwork after I sit here and find my route. Exactly. Can you do this for me? And y'all take care of that part. Yeah. See, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm that dude who I want to come in, sit down, do what I got to do and be fantastic at it and then be gone. That's why a lot of people work a job. They just want to punch the clock, do their 40 hours a week, get their paycheck. I can see truck drivers want to do that. I just want to care about this gas and this load. Okay, that's my only two concerns this gas and this load. If I can hire somebody else that does the other part, and I don't, you said you have competitive rates. I don't want to talk to prices because next thing you know, it'd be a new company that pop up and they then based all their prices on you. And I and I got to compensate the difference because I put your info out there. But you have competitive rates, meaning that. Whatever a person is looking for as a dispatcher or whatever you might see online, it's not going to be no different, give or take a few bucks from what you're going to probably offer them. Then you add the fact that you're black owned. You got your knowledge from a woman. You got your game from a woman. You came from. Sorry. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac. But um, you had all of this right here. So it's now, because me, I like, as you can see, I'm in Sherman Phoenix. I like to buy black. I like to work black. I like to keep. As much as the black dollar in the black dollar, why not have a black dispatching company? You understand how I feel when I'm taking this load to Ohio because it's Ohio. Oh, so when you get this load, he's like, all right, man, you're getting ready to go to Akron, Ohio. Be careful over there. You know, just, just, ha- just simple giving me a little bit of update of where my load is going could definitely do so much more than me picking up this assignment. Oh, it's in Akron, Ohio. Ain't that where LeBron's from? Okay, it's cool. And then you get there, next thing you know, like, hey, 
they done stole all the tires off my semi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. it, it's just a little bit of information of giving me. Right. So I'm losing my mind. I need to work, work, focus on trying to get me some tires. I don't need to be calling this man that who I picked this load up from or who I'm going to go deliver this load to. I'm stressing out. That's right. <laughs> and and I, I can see that because it's like. <laughs> This is their, this is their livelihood, yep. you know, mm -hmm. and something as major as this can make a big difference. You as a dispatcher could number one, let them know about the situation. Number two, you might be able to say, "Hey, just to let you know, there's a company three miles down. They sell semi trucks. Yep. See if you can get an Uber down there. We can. You can do all the work. That all oh, I have yeah. to worry about is this gas mm -hmm. in this load. That's okay. That's all we want to worry about. I love y'all already. I don't, I don't even <laughs> own the truck. I love y'all already. We need, we need this for every job. That's it. I don't care. I need I need some I need an audio engineer who I can just call and you do all this and I just record. We love to take mm -hmm. the burden away from our drivers. Boom. That, again, that, that, there go your tag right there. Once again, That's how you sell Randy's lanes. We like to take the burden away from the driver. Yes. Boom. Put that on the billboard. Absolutely. I'll pay for half of it. Absolutely. I don't want to confuse everyone. I just want to be able to be clear. We offer dispatching for trucking companies we're offer dispatching courses if you want to learn how to dispatch and we offer um taking we offer um setting up your trucking companies for you to get you on the road and get you get you going so, so. what you're telling me is that i won the lottery okay and i want to help my people out because you know niggas ain't got no jobs <laughs> and half of them selling I can go out here by myself, let's say four trucks, okay? I can then come to you. Yeah. I can say, hey, teach these niggas how to make this into a business. Mm -hmm. Then I can say, hey, I want to use you to dispatch these four, but I also want you to teach their mamas how to be their dispatchers. Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> mama a little bit too old to be in the street to work a real job. So can you teach mama how to at least be oh, the dispatcher? Okay. That way she can do this. Yeah. And then when we go back and buy these another two trucks, yep. then we hire you to dispatch these two trucks while they mama's got. Yep. Done it. Do it. I do it all the time. All the time. Niggas. All the time. They like to keep, love to keep money flowing in, 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 in our, um, this in is, the black community. Niggas, no. this is how you get generational wealth. Yep. This woman right here is helping your, you, I love you. I love what you do for our peoples. No, I'm dead ass serious. Like literally, you make it. You you can basically make a family be completely successful from yeah. beginning to end, mm -hmm. while still. And the Chris, thing I love about you the most is you're not getting. You're not one of the people who's like, you got to work with me if you want dispatches. No, it's like you don't have to, but I can teach y'all how to do y'all own yeah. thing. And while you're getting this together, if you want to hire us for the meantime, we'll do this dispatching part for you while you're getting things together. I'm still going to charge you to teach you, though. Yep. But we got all this that we can do. Then once you feel comfortable enough that you would now have some trucking company CDE is now ready to go with a full blown fleet and drivers and a dispatch team inside the company. If you want to say, hey, thank you very much. We're going to do our own thing. You, it's not a bad thing. And, and I explain to them, that to them all the, all the time. But you got to understand, too, when you're understanding and they see that you're trying to help their company, they're going to reach out to other truck drivers. And they're going to say, hey, this woman is amazing. She just taught my sister. And she got my trucking company together. Hey, um. DDC trucking company want to work with you. <laughs> but, <laughs> they got like 15 trucks. Can you move them? <laughs> well, Boom. There you go. There's your money. You know, you're moving. That's uh -huh. what I tell you. Two trucks can get you $2,000 a week. Imagine 15 trucks moving a day. And then you could. You got any availabilities in your family? Do I got to call? You know what? Let me call. <laughs> I'm not going to call her. I need to be in this family. This family is it's, it's, it's amazing. I love this, this family. Is, <laughs> you think she would come to my call? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. So, <laughs> I don't want to keep too much of your time because now I got to go call my trucking friends. Hey, 
paid. We got to get paid. Hey, like, look, bro. Everybody wins. Every it, everybody, wins. everybody wins. So, how can they get a hold of you? When they can get a hold of me at um, R Lane Sport. So it's R as in Robert, L as in Larry, A as in Apple, N as in Nancy, E as in Elephant, and S as in Sam. Corp, C O R P at gmail.com. Or they can call me at 414 731 3299. You can also follow us on our Instagram page at Randy Lane's Corporation and also at our Facebook page at Randy Lane's Corp. I follow both of them, so I already know. Yeah. It's all right here. I want to thank you for stopping in today. So this welcome. was informative. Uh, if I ever decide that I don't want to do this no more, I know exactly what business I'm going into next. Uh, it's going. I'm going to go ahead and find you like 17 felons, and we all going to get paid. Amen. <laughs> Because <laughs> they ain't going to say no, you need this anyway. Yeah. So they get off your back. So I'm guaranteed to have consistent workers if they don't do nothing but sit at home on house arrest and be my dispatch. Hey. So can you have, you know, can I just, I don't think it's not a bad idea. All right, with that being said, people, make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms at Speaker, Spotify, Our Heart Radio. Make sure you check out all the podcasts here on TDR Network. And go get your CDLs because she's going to get y'all together. With a real ass job. I'm just saying, I'm fucking gonna click this shit. So, <laughs> with that being said, people, we are out of here.